Okay, and today is our focus of attention is on uh, on this beautiful sweater. It's cardigan. It's a designer cardigan, and I do have a skirt in this olive green color, which is way too huge, and it's lined, it's pleated, and it's easy to alter it, like four or five sizes down, that video is still coming, again, subscribe, but you will not miss it, it's coming, because I need to match the sweater with, no, well, I will alter it, that skirt, but right now, this, let's leave this too short, and let me explain to you, uh, easiest possible way, how you can shorten uh, sleeves on your sweater or cardigan without using any sewing machine at all just by your hands now well, let me explain to you that the sleeves and uh, but this particular one i want to keep warm no well i want to have some weight here because it's such a light it's a i um, it's such a light cardigan and uh, i want to weigh down sleeves this mean i want kind of it's about three inches too long and i want a little bit heavy uh, heavy hem here what uh, my sleeves will lay down on the uh, on the wrist very nice which is just like this one well let's see what kind of problem we meet here and uh, how we're gonna solve those problems and do it uh, without any sewing machine so which sewing machine not needed well you draw like that and you figure up of course you measure you try it on and you figure up how far you need your hem has to go in my case it's about that much and uh, well, as you can see, this is what this uh, has to be attached here, but distance, this distance, much smaller as this distance. This is a difference, right? No, well, we have to kill the difference. Otherwise, you have never going to lay nice. No, well, what you're going to do, you pin it. You don't have to be exactly all the way here because this is, can be stretched a little bit. And uh, how about like half inch? As you can see, I'm doing not quite what I have, just a little bit less. And this is, this is... I have to make it uh, this line fit in this size. Now, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get pin like that uh, to make sure my whole sleeve will come up uh, to this point, uh, tapering a little bit, and uh, then going out back this way. Mm -hmm. Just what I pin like that. This is a point when we need to make sure what it's laying together. And then go a little bit in for this uh, to this point and then out back to the original hem. And then you just you stitch it. How you stitch it? You stitch in and out. Just thread up your thread. How to turn the thread up thread? How to how to stitch? I have separate video. It's a hand stitching. How to do hand stitching? And I'm placing in the end of this video how to do that. Uh, what you can you can see and. Uh, here we go that's how you do it just like that very easy just draw a practical line of of this tapering i call it to and whenever you draw with your pins now you draw with your stitching Anybody can do what I'm doing. But it is ways of, of really easy ways of doing knots and all that. Please check that video, what you will know how to do that. And also I'm placing the same video right above my token in that right corner. You can go ahead and, and check it out. Now what you do, you turn your job another way. And stitch it in spaces, like right here it was it's a space right here now will be no space go in cover with your stitch the space to make sure your the stitching will be much more story well, see as you can see it's spacing between stitching now it will be no space you kind of go over same line but make sure this time it's different what well, this time is uh, all solid come up stitching solid Okay, guys. All right, guys. Now, when you stitch that roll, as far as you want to go, in my case, is that much, and uh, and pin it, pin this wide hem like like I just did, uh, and uh, um, pay attention because, as you can see, it's not really exactly flat, but because this part is stretching of bottom slim, I can make it flat to lay when I'm stitching. How do I stitch? Again, you thread up your thread, 
the, of course I'm, I'm using matching thread with that purple color to match to that sweater do you have to do that no because in that tutorial video what i'm placing in the end of this one i'm actually using bright red thread on a bright white piece of fabric and and showing to you in a slow super slow motion how to do that blind stitch invisible hem and uh, nothing shows no red thread showing on another side no well please watch it i don't want to repeat myself no well here i kind of more fast to show to you how i do it you pick up a little piece of uh, of that sweater a little p one thread from this side one thread from this side you put your thread around needle down again and pull needle through that's how you don't tie too much again one piece of thread piece of thread from here one piece of thread from hem what you attach it your original hem pull your thread all over needle and then pull needle right through and do not see how that loop is free leave it free because it's knitting when you wear it on it's stretching on you it's okay to have knitting a little bit loose if you tied up too much on a knitting it's gonna show us on, on the right side no well do not try too much the stitching can keep continue all around and i will show to you what come up and also you know i can do better lay here i can make a little bit more here in i did not want to because it's cardigan it's a sweater after all if i decide to wear some long sleeve blouse under i will have room in my sleeve in a width of my sleeve to do so that's why i did this way okay guys that's what's come up with as you can see very low stitching right here and when it's pulling just a little bit it it make difference because stitch pulling together with sweater it needs after all and slaying everything nice your finishing sleeve let me pull out that one to show to you your finishing sleeve look very nice just like that very nice laying with no gathering here all nice just like it's supposed to be and yes it's always space to press it do not do not be afraid to press knits it's very much pressable but you do need to you realize you do need to have protective uh, surface on your iron and um, use a little bit steam to press it down it's gonna lay much better kind of go with iron this emotion inside and and all around and press like that uh, will do very good and uh, if you don't have protective uh, surface on the iron if you have cheap iron put cloth on put cloth on and uh, in, from that case going from this side and press here with the cloth okay guys this is one of ways of shorten sweater sweater sleeves and uh, many of them but if you do not have sewing machine that's how it can be done very nice by hands and uh, please subscribe more is 250 videos on the channel and most important more is 50 playlists if you go on the channel page and scroll down playlist this will give you idea what this channel all about and uh, if it's interested you please subscribe thank you for your time